Hello everyone, welcome back to a new tutorial for the Cheesehead channel. And today I'm going to show you how to make a realistic water drop, raindrop thing. And let's go to render settings, uh, width, height, just whatever you want. And um, let's go for alpha channel. Um, I suggest you to put it on, but you don't have to. But it makes, it, alpha channel just uh, makes your, like when you render it, the background will be transparent so um let's go to quicktime png let's render it out um with the name water drop tutorial 2 because i've already made a tutorial on it but it kind of failed i hate fraps sometimes but whatever uh 8 by 8 uh, by the way, by anti-aliasing, uh, anti-aliasing, just go to best and eight by eight. Um, and right now you're gonna go to effects, ambient occlusion, and global illumination. And there you go. So um, right now we're gonna take a sphere. So let's go to sphere. Let's uh, just put the radius to thirty-five. That's what I like to use. And put this, um, go to the middle one right here. Go to, and just change it to 2.5. Let's zoom into that. And um, that's actually the biggest part, I guess, already done. So you're going to go to taper. And make that taper a child of the sphere. So just place it onto the sphere. And you're going to go to the taper. Ob object and drag that all the way up to a hundred and forty. That should be good. Um, oh yeah. By the way, I'll be including a link to uh, a con uh, concursion or something. I don't know, a concursion or whatever. It's a really cool GFX dude, and uh, he's got this GFX pack in which he includes his light studio. And I love to use it. Just delete the text and stuff. And the camera, I'm going to use that one as well. So I suggest you to put on the camera. And I'll be including a link to the realistic water um, texture. If I can find it, there you go. And um, let's just delete the plane and shit. And there you go. Just uh, put the water texture onto the sphere. Let's uh, render it out. There you go. So that looks pretty good, actually. It looks pretty much like water. Let's uh, actually make that a little bit bitter, bigger um, to 60. And now we also need to change the tape. Let's drag that up actually and put it to 140 and drag that up. Oh, drag it up. There you go. Let's see the outcome. Yeah, I, I guess that looks pretty good. But uh, yeah, so um, let's render it out right now like for real and <laughs> see how that looks shouldn't take too long now it's already done so there you go now let's um, yeah so um, th that's it that's that's how you make it so um, <laughs> I hope you guys all enjoyed it and um, yeah I'll show you guys a the f um, the picture of it like when it's rendered out um, later and uh, but yeah the, I'm really sorry guys for not uploading for a long time if you guys actually really cared um, and but yeah I'm just really busy with school these days but trying to work on my working tempo and um, making my uh, the work uh, at school faster to make videos and stuff, but yeah, um, so 
yeah, this this has been it for today, and uh, yeah, bye guys, <laughs> bye.